How are sensory representations shaped by the state and the history of an animal? We addressed this question in the mouse olfactory bulb. Using chronic in vivo to photon calcium imaging combined with genetically encoded calcium indicators, we can record the activity of large ensembles of neurons of identified cell types following the activity of the same set of neurons over the course of days, weeks, and months. Using this technique, we explored how wakefulness and odor experience might modulate the activity of two types of neurons in the olfactory bulb, namely mitral cells, the principal cells of the bulb, and granule cells, the major class of inhibitory interneurons that provide inhibition onto mitral cells. Using variants of GCAMP, we imaged the activity of mitral and granule cell populations in awake mice and subsequently anesthetized the animal to ask how odor representations differ between awake and anesthetized state. We find that anesthesia increases odor responses of mitral cells. In contrast, granule cell activity is dramatically reduced with anesthesia. These results suggest that in awake animals, mitral cell odor representations are made sparse by the action of local inhibitory circuits, and that studies in anesthetized animals may have underestimated the action of granule cells. Next, we asked how mitral cell odor representations in awake mice are shaped by experience. By monitoring the response of the same sets of mitral cells to a panel of odors, we found that odor experience causes a gradual sparsening of mitral cell responses, which accumulates across days. This plasticity is odor specific, shown by the observation that the same mitral cells still respond strongly to control odors, and the plasticity recovers gradually over months. Intriguingly, this plasticity is not expressed when the mouse is tested under anesthesia, indicating that wakefulness plays a key role in the dynamic nature of mitral cell odor representations. So what have we learned from this work? Well, most previous studies of odor representations in the olfactory bowl relied on acute experiments in anesthetized animals. And we took an imaging approach in awake mice and found that odor coding is dramatically different between the awake and the anesthetized state. Also, we took advantage of chronic imaging and found a surprisingly long-lasting effect of odor experience in awake mice, such that familiar stimuli are represented much more sparsely than novel odors. So in the end, an important point is that sensory representations at this early stage in the brain are not fixed or static, Rather, odor representations in the olfactory bulb are quite flexible and shaped by changes in brain state or even simple odor experience. In future studies, it's going to be a lot of fun for us to try and figure out the synaptic mechanisms that underlie this flexibility. Thanks for watching.